Oh, look at him. He's having a go. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. That's a good fish. Oh, it's a griper. Yep. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That's a tuna. Yes. That could be the shark. <sighs> All right, we're ready to cast, finally. So I'm going to throw the light set up first, see how long that lasts, if I get a fish or if I get smoked or if I get snagged. Um, little Helco paddle prawn, the Dreamcast rod, all details are in the video description. And we are in the southwest of Australia. That sums everything up. South coast of Western Australia, right down the bottom here near Albany. All right, we've got a line in the water. We'll see what we can catch. Another plastic, we'll see. There might be leather jackets out there though. I just had a plastic get destroyed. A type that I didn't think should get destroyed, but I'm not sure. Got a fish on the drop. There we go. Something grabbed it as it dropped. I didn't even get a chance to retrieve that. I just took up slack and I was on. So let's see what we have. Feels alright. It's not very big, but it's not tiny either. Could be a break sea. Yeah, it looks like a break sea. Good big break, see. Nice. That's good. There we go. First fish of the morning. Um, on a pro lure paddle tail. I forget what they're called. And it's missing its tail now. It's been chomped. I don't know if it got chomped by a leather jacket or this thing. Because I just lost the tail another one anyway there you go <sighs> yep that's a good fish What is it? What do we got? Could be a Dewey. Oh, it's a Griper. These things have got some power.
we go. Pretty solid groper right there. They're hard to hold. Um, but yeah, that's a decent one. Might be pushing 20, 15 to 20, I'd say. Probably not quite 20 kilos. Um, I would release him, but he's been a bit smashed around on the rocks. And they're good eating, so we'll keep him. We'll make use of him. Oh. Pucker up, mate. See what's out there. I'm covered in groper slime now. I really would like a tuna. I've got wasabi, I've got soy sauce. I've even got a bit of lemon back at the car. I didn't bring it down, so that would be amazing because tuna sashimi is absolutely smiko. As good as it gets. That's another fish on the bottom. Decent too. What do we got? What is it? It's a Harley. Yes. That's so good. That's a big long one. Man, these fish are so beautiful. And unfortunately for them, they are also delicious. Nice big harlequin fish. Again on the uh, Z-Man. Jerk shad. I might throw on a different plastic in a sec now. But, uh, they so good. That's a male as well. All blue spots are male. I think that's right. And if they're orange or mixed color spots, they're female. Anyway, awesome looking fish. Changing to a different plastic. What's it called? Pez baits. Giving it a shot. Let's see how it goes. Fish. Feels alright. Break sea cod probably, something like that. Oh, is that another Harley? This too. Oh no! Shook the hooks right there. Bugger. That cools this. Whole pot of dolphins just went through. See if there's any tuna behind them. There's definitely some tuna on that shark before. All right, it's just on low tide right now and things have gone quiet. So I'm gonna fill up the groper. Then I wanna put the groper head and frame on the burly line. We'll see if we can burly things up a bit. I'd like to find, I'm just seeing there's a boat sitting out about 200 meters from me. I only just saw it. I'd like to find a, um, I'd like to hook up a kingy or a sambo or some tuna. Um, so it may be a bit more burly because there were definitely tuna behind that, um, almost certain they were tuna behind that shark. One fillet is this shelf just here as well it's like it's made for it all right i've fill finished filleting the fish and we'll throw this now for a while crap everywhere but we'll tidy it up when we need to leave Come on, they're chasing, they're chasing. Oh, I had one chase. Look at that shark right there. See, I wouldn't want to fall in. Would not be nice. Mind you, I'd say that would leave me alone. All right, we're going to sink it. 
I think we might finally have Tuna on. Oh yep, yeah, here he is. He's moving around quick. Oh yep, yeah, fish on. Oh, there's two sharks. And I got a fish on. I just want to, oh, he's on the, he's munching my, um. oh, look at him. He's having a go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I might need to shorten that. Otherwise, all right, we'll let this guy go. We're going to have a break, see Cod. I'm going to, this one will be legal, but we'll quickly throw him back. And, um, there you go, mate. And we're going to shorten that lead, shorten that rope. That shark just loaded that right up. All right, so we're going a bit of bait now. Let's see how we go. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna need a shower after this. Couple of days away. There's a sharky again. Oh, he's got tuna behind him again. We've got two sharks. And there's tuna with him, definitely tuna. Right behind him. Don't know if I'll get sharked after I hook up, but I'll give it a shot. Well, when you eat, oh, what have I hooked? Oh, I've hooked the shark. Hooked the shark in the dorsal on accident. And. Yeah. Popped off. Phew. Phew. Where are these tuna at? They are annoying me. Nothing else. Yep. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That's a tuna. Yes. That's got to be a tuna, I'd say. Finally hooked one. Far out. There's a big tuna. I think my line's on the rock. Let's see if he'll swim out. Man. All right, I feel better now. I feel like I'm not on the rocks anymore. Man, he took a blistering run. Yes, tuna, pretty sure. Southern bluefin tuna, let's see. I'm trying to hook one up for a while. Now, how the hell am I gonna land it? I'm gonna have to wash him up over here. There he goes again. He must be decent size, I reckon. Cause I've pulled in some, uh, Small tuna, pretty easy on this before. Oh no! No! Don't do that to me! What happened? Alright. Go on a bit of bait again. Try to get it out as far as I can. That could be the shark. I might have just hooked a shark. Oh, I don't know. He hasn't been me off though.
feels a lot like a shark. I think I might have hooked the shark. If it's not a shark, it's a bloody big sambo or something. Could be. I kind of. Oh. Yeah, go on. I reckon that was a shark. I feel like I've still got my sinker. Um, but the hook got bitten off. Sharks. It's a little shark. They could be the size that I hooked, I don't know. It's the one I hooked wasn't, didn't feel that big. Because I did stop him. Oh, kingies. There's kingies on it as well. Oh, just when I'm about to head. Yeah. What's this? That's a king. Oh, he's going straight up along the edge there. Of course he has. See? Yeah, there we go. Now he's taking a run. So he didn't do much at first, but he's got some going in, in him now. I don't know if I'm going to get sharked or not. There he is. Or if I'll just get smoked. He's tiny and he's fighting like a little king, I guess you could say. There we go, beautiful little kingy. Still after a tuna, but uh, we'll release this guy. Sharks everywhere, fish everywhere at the moment. I was about to leave and then this happens, typical. So we'll get him unhooked and we'll send him back quickly. And release. Did swim. Didn't know what was going on at first. All right, so I was just saying to myself that I needed to pack up and leave because nothing was happening and I'm running low on ice. Um, I need to get the fish cooled. So I was about to leave, sharks show up, sea tuna, Anyway, all that mayhem just happened that you probably just saw. Uh, I only got a skippy, which I'll keep, and I released the kingy. Probably was a bit small, I'm not sure. Might have been legal. Anyway, I'm gonna pack up now. Uh, sun's out, and I've got a frozen water bottle for the fish, but it's sort of probably almost defrosted by now. So we better get out of here and um, we'll get back to the car. It's still a bit of a trek as well. Back to the car. Uh, get everything on ice and tucked away and I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have an Arvo session. All right, whatever I get up to later on will be in the next video. I don't know if I'll do an Arvo session or just save it for tomorrow morning or might go home. I don't know. don't really want to go home. So nice out here. Anyway, believe it or that, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one, whatever happens.